Okay guys, so here I'm today I'm showing you how to make a drawing app on um on App Inventor 2. So we are going to be doing a visible button, a non-visible button, a button uh twelve buttons for the width of paint, um a tap to erase button, a canvas where you draw, a blue line, red line yellow line, green line, orange line, purple line, white line, and black line. Also, a, to make the background of this be black and to make the background of this be white. Also, to make it so that when you press make background black, it becomes white paint, but you can still change the color. And when you press make background white, it becomes black paint. So, that is just the that is just what they will be seeing don't worry they'll be able to see the full thing of those buttons the the letters won't be that small if you do if you are connecting on a phone or whatever um yeah you connect on your phone for ai companion then you scan using the app but you can sadly only download it on google play but you head over onto blocks, and I'm sorry I would redo it all, but it, this was a lot of tedious work, and I don't like redoing tedious work. And I think I made my buttons disappear. <sighs> now I have to play the buttons. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I fixed it. I accidentally dragged these guys up there. I don't know how, but apparently I did. But yeah, that is all we are doing. And don't worry, the, the screen part, this is going to be much wider when you connect it on the tablet or phone. But um, yeah, it's time to get started with this. It, it's not as complicated as it looks. So... Yeah, um, let's get all the width things set up, and I'll show you how to do those right as soon as I separate everything. So I'll be right back when I have separated everything. So yeah. Okay, I am back, and I have gotten the box all sorted out. So, if you want to do basically all of this, just watch the whole entire video. Um, so, yeah, I wish I could tell you certain times of when I was, when I am doing things, but I am still trying to figure that stuff out. So, let's get started. You will have to go under, um, drawing and animation, click canvas, and drag it onto your screen. Just anywhere for when your screen is blank. Next, you are going to want to drag out buttons. Well, actually, first you'll be dragging out your canvas. Then you'll go to blocks. Then you are going to go when you're going to go down here and click canvas. Drag out when canvas dragged. Then you're going to click canvas and go down to draw line and then then you're going to get previous x for x1 then previous y for y1 then current x for x2 then current y for um current for y2 and that is it but when you draw it'll just be a skinny line that is black, no other colors, so if you want to just do that, then just stop here. Now, for you people that, um, want to learn how to do the colors, the widths, and the background colors, next, you are going to be going back to user interface, clicking and dragging a button, on the top or bottom. Actually, I forgot to say, when you when you drag out your canvas, make width 
the fill fill parent and height fill parent also. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgot to mention that. Um for when you go back to to get colors, because I'm doing canvas for drawing colors, width, background color, and then those. Actually no, I'll do erase now. <laughs> sorry. You click and drag a button. I did mine right above it, made it be that wide, clicked, dragged, make it so that then the button is having a blue line up above the painting. Then click that button, you can make the background color whatever you want. Type in here, tap to erase or whatever you want to tell them to make it erase. And then text color can be whatever you want. Then, when you come into blocks, this one is very easy, um, but when button 25, which is, which is, in fact, this one, button 25, when, when button 25 click, canvas one, clear. That means there is, I haven't figured out how to exactly get an erase thing. But when you tap that button, the whole thing is clear. A little cheat I found out to kind of have it be an eraser is if it was a white background, grab the white and then draw on it to make it disappear and still be white again. Black background, do the same with black. So now that is literally all you have to do to have the tap to erase. And now I am going to be moving on to the colors. So, I'm just going to explain this once, because it's basically the same thing. Um, you will drag out your button, put it on top, above it, or below it, and then you can, I would, color the background of it, the color that it is, by, by clicking it, background color too, gray, but in this case, blue. Then, again, I would type in the color of the, no, I would type in the name of the color, and then make it be, a, then make the text be a color that pops out, because see, if I did do black, then, um, it's not that bright. None. Done. But, when I do white, you can see it nice and bright. So, you can make it any size you want, really. <laughs> And then you go over into blocks, and then one button one clicked because this is my button one. So, when button one click, set canvas paint color to which you click canvas, scroll down, set paint color to. Canvas 1 paint color 2, drag that out, bring it under button 1, and then you go on up here, click colors, and then you drag out blue. Now, if you want to get a different color, you can just click it, and look. Yellowish, red, white, brownish, black, do all that. So yeah, that is how you do that. And then but you basically just do it for the next button. You drag out that button, click, when click, bring out canvas one, paint color two, and then well, then set your different color. So now you just want that, then you can leave now. Next we are doing the buttons for the width of the paint. So, you, well, I personally drag, dragged out 12 buttons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now, you know how you can't see these ones very much? On a tablet or phone, you'll still be able to see them all. Because on a tablet or phone, it's a little bit wider, a little bit taller, but you'll be able to still see it all. So, then... Again, this is 
kind of like the car thing. I'm only going to show you how to do it once because it's basically you repeating the same thing. You can make the color of the background of it be any color you want. You can make it be a any kind of size you want. You can make the text color be any size you want. I recommend putting the text to the numbers in order from least to greatest for the smaller width to the largest width. So then, this is button 11, go into blocks. I have button 11 to set, when button 11 click, set canvas 1, line width 2, and then to 1. Then, come back down here to canvas to get set line width 2. Come on down here and set canvas 1, line width 2. Then, you come on up here, get in math, and then drag this top one out, and then just type in the number, then drag this back under. So, and then like I was saying, then get your next one, your next button, and then I recommend putting it two numbers higher than the last one, or else it will be a very small difference, because even when I put it two numbers up higher, it still wasn't exactly, it was hard to see the difference, I'm trying to say then. But yeah, I, I put down 12 buttons, went up to 23. So, it got pretty thick. <laughs> so now, if that's all you want to have, then you can leave now. But next, I am doing the make background black, make background white. For And also, for when you make the background black, you can it automatically draws to white. But you can still pick other colors and make background white again. But and automatically have it be black and you can still pick different colors i don't have much time left but yeah so let me go back this is button nine and this is button ten again you can make the color of it any color you want i recommend the color that it's going to be and again same for right here so this is button 9 and button 10, and for that, that is the part for when I put when button 9, which is the, which is the make background black, I put when button 9 click, set canvas 1 background color to black, and set canvas 1 paint color to white. You already know how to do the paint color part, so I'm going to skip that, I'm going to show you how to get to the background color. Okay, first you click canvas one, scroll on down, and then right here, it's the second one, set canvas one background color two, and then, and then just choose whatever color you want it to be, in this case black, and then drag it right there, not, not in the trash, I was just saying drag it right here. And then set canvas 1, paint color to white. Then do the same with button 10, except set canvas 1, background color to white, or whatever color it is. Then set canvas 1, paint color to black. Now, uh, if that's all you wanted to learn, then you can go ahead and leave now. But, for the last part of this, I'm going to show you how to make it be visible and non-visible on your paint. don't have much want to, to show this, so you go to um, set button, win button 24 click, which is the make it not be able to see. You set canvas 1 visible to, which is canvas 1 visible to false, which you can find in under logic, and then for true, you can set canvas one visible to true. And that is all for this video, I'm being rushed, so bye, hope you enjoyed it.